This is the 5-Minute Youth Devotional Reading with Alex Sarria. September 26, Longing. Psalm 84.10 says, A single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. I would rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my God than live the good life in the homes of the wicked. What's your favorite psalm? I recognize that David's have special depth, but perhaps because of my profession as a pastor, I identify myself with the Psalms of Asaph. His way of expressing himself is not as intense as David's, but he usually responds a lot of the existential doubts of our society. I also like the Psalms that begin with the heading of Psalm of, perhaps because of my profession as a teacher, because they are life lessons that bring wisdom. However, I have a special predilection for Gittite style psalms, that is, Gath style psalms. Gath was a Philistine population where David took refuge in a time of spiritual weakness. That style came from that experience. There are three psalms that use this style and portray a longing for God. Psalm 84 is one of them. The psalm begins with immense longing for the house of God. I long, yes, I faint with longing to enter the courts of the Lord. With my whole being, body, and soul, I will shout joyfully to the living God. Psalm 84, 2. And I remember the sparrows that fly through the cracks and the swallows that year after year make their nests. With that image in mind, recalling the good times he had lived, the author felt that he was filled with his strength and thought of people who allowed God to participate in their lives. Everything changed in him. He turned tears into a fountain experienced encouragement after encouragement until he met the Lord in his house. Then he understood everything because a single day in God's house is better than a thousand days elsewhere. God is protection and light, shield and sun, grace and glory. That experience made him exclaim, happy are those who trust in you. Can I ask you a personal question? Do you long for the house of God? I ask you this because I am afraid that the image we portray of his church is not accurate of an encounter with the Lord. Tensions, differences of opinion, and irregular reactions can alter our mental associations regarding our home. Is a day in church worth more than a thousand days out of it? I sense that for some, it is not. I dare say, sadly, that you could even reverse the proportion that there are those who prefer a day out over a thousand inside. We must do something to avoid that sentiment. Perhaps we should give more prominence to the owner of the house. Perhaps we should let him take care of us. Perhaps. With a little humility, we will make it easier for the sparrows and the swallows to return. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this was helpful for you, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Always remember this, walking with God is the greatest thing you could ever do. You are his priority. Make him yours, and you will always live out your purpose. God bless.